Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. And this is kind of a hybrid episode. I've done episodes in the past on what is this position, what do they do. I've talked about project manager, clinical trial assistant, project manager assistant, um, CRA, and I'm clinical trial lead, you name it. I've done the major positions and talked about what they do and a little bit more about the position. So if you haven't checked those out, I'd go back and check those out. But uh, a subscriber recently sent me an email about a new position I had not really heard of yet, and it was called Clinical Trial Specialist. So uh, I thought it was very interesting. I asked him to send me a job description, and I have that, and I will kind of talk about it, talk about that as well. But what really got me interested in is what it could be for those people looking to get into the industry and how it could set you up. Uh, way better than just coming in on the project management side or just coming in on the clinical side because this seems like a hybrid of all of those things where you're going to be doing some project management and some uh, clinical work also. So for people that are looking to kind of get their start, um, just looking to kind of get them some experience, maybe want to be a CRA or a project manager or they don't even know what they want to do in the clinical research space, this is probably going to be a good position for you uh, it's not as common as I would say uh, some of the other positions are, but it's definitely out there. And if you can land one, I mean, by all means, this is something you should definitely consider. So before we go ahead and get into that, I just want to let you guys know we've got the resume review program going on now. If you are having troubles getting into the clinical research industry, you have questions, uh, you feel like your resume is not up to snuff, uh, you can come to me and skip all the rejections. Um, and you know, it's still gonna be a process, but you could skip all the stuff, all the resume tweaks. Uh, we'll work with you to get your resume where it needs to be. And we'll also talk to you about the strengths and weaknesses of your application, where you could uh, tweak those things or where you could improve your application to hopefully get in the clinical research industry even faster. So email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com if you're interested in that. Now let's go ahead and get into this episode. So clinical trial specialist, I saw one here at PRA. So if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see my screen. If you're listening on the podcast, uh, I'll just read it to you. So they have here, clinical trial specialist is the primary point of contact for the sites, sponsor, and internal stakeholders. So you're going to be both sponsor facing and site facing, which makes this role very, very interesting. Um, you'll perform perform investigative site recruitment feasibility. Okay, so you'll help sites recruit, and also feasibility is you'll determine which sites are eligible for the study. Uh, so that's that's interesting. Um, essential document collection. That's like an in-house CRA or a CTA, and review maintenance and close out in-house site management activities in accordance with the sponsor and or PRA protocol. So yeah, this is a PRA position, so um, at least this one I'm reading. I'm gonna see if I can find some more. But yeah, so um, blah, 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 blah. So you'll d create and distribute meeting agendas and take meeting minutes during internal and sponsor calls, roll out training plans to team members and provide access to project systems. So yeah, so this sounds basically like a hybrid before, I mean a hybrid between, and it, you know, uh, project manager assistant, you know, on the project management side, that's that sponsor facing component and the clinical trial assistant slash in-house CRA, which is going to be the site um, facing component. So this is very, very interesting. Um, and so, you know, they say the requirements are one to three years of relevant experience. So I advise all of my clients that you apply for these roles regardless of how much experience you have, whether you have zero or two months, doesn't matter. They put these, they put these um, arbitrary numbers there just as an ideal situation and a lot of times they're accepting people with much less. Or you come to us for resume review and we will um, you know, kind of bring out that experience from your past background anyway. Um, so you can find out more by emailing me. Um, Links in the description. So undergraduate degree, health-related preferred or an equivalent combo of education and experience. So prior experience using computerized systems, clinical trial support, data coordination, or pharmacy industry, pharmaceutical industry experience. 
um, experience with electronic data capture, PC windows, word processing, and electronic spreadsheets preferred, knowledge of ICH and regulatory authority drug research and development regulations preferred, ability to read, write, and speak fluent English required. Okay. And then, of course, you must be legally authorized to work in the United States and should not require now or in the future sponsorship for employment visa status. So, pretty good position on face value. I think that working both project management side and clinical side is very, very beneficial. A lot of positions, you're siloed into one, so you don't get both experience. So, I feel like even if you're just interested in you know, working your way up in being a project manager, great position because a lot of project managers do not have the experience of working on clinical, so they don't understand exactly how the clinical stuff works. Or, you know, they only looking at the budget. They don't understand how the stresses of being a CRA and where those points are. So I feel like this is great just for your career in general, working both sponsor facing and, um, Sorry, that was a pop-up for interview prep uh, with a client. Um, but so, yeah, a lot of times they don't have the experience of having both clinical and project management uh, experience. So I feel like this is helpful just as a career basis, as a base for your career. Um, yeah, so I'm sure there's going to be other positions like this popping up. Let's see if we can find any more. So that one's at PRA. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And the salary for it, the salary they have listed is anywhere from 47K to 75K, which is great for an entry level position. If you get an entry level and you're making 47 to 50K, that's a, that's a good day's work. It's a really good day's work. So we'll see what this clinical trial associate is. Project manager. So the clinic, this clinical trial associate at Dicerna Pharmaceutical. It sounds like this is just. I mean, so the way pharmaceutical companies typically work is, their clinical and project management is all in one. You know, they just have one called clinical, and they're overall running the trial. So that's another area where you could do both clinical and project management in one is working for a pharmaceutical company as opposed to a CRO. CRO, they're going to have it separate, but pharmaceutical company typically going to be all in one. So here's another one, clinical trial associate, which is similar to that clinical trial specialist, where you're going to be supporting the clinical development team and the overall management of the studies, including planning, execution, and closeout of outsourced clinical trials. And then you're also going to be assisting the project manager in site management activities, which could include review of monitoring reports, tracking of site visits, and communication with monitors and sites. So obviously, this is a pharmaceutical company, so there's not going to be any, um, you know, you, you're not sponsor facing, you are the sponsor. So um, you might be CRO facing and site facing, which is also very good experience and very interesting too. Um, so that's another way where if you want to do kind of both, look for these type of positions, clinical trial associate, clinical trial specialist. Um, and the salary here is 50K to 82K. Now, once again, that's Miss Massachusetts, Cambridge, uh, where cost of living is high. So I would take that 47K in Wilmington, North Carolina, over 50K in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Because Wilmington, Wilmington, North Carolina is going to be way cheaper than Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, and so, you know, this one, they say, well, they want a minimum of three years of supporting clinical trials. Um, obviously, if you have three years of experience, you're going to demand more of that 82K range um, rather than the 50K range. But look, you never know where these companies are looking for at that time and what they're willing to take a chance on. So I would apply even for this because... They might have an entry level aspect to this, or they may decide they want, they're getting a lot of strong candidates that don't have as much experience. Why don't they take a chance on somebody like that? And that somebody could be you. So let them say no. 
All right, then here, they've got another clinical trial specialist at PRA, and this is startup. So I'm assuming that this is just gonna be study startup. Yep. So this is just study startup. So that's not what this is about, so I'm not gonna go ahead and get in there. So let's see if I can find anything else. Here's another cl clinical trial associate. So just so you guys know, this is Glassdoor, and this is something you know I don't, I've even been too big on is applying for jobs on Glassdoor, and that's something that um, I should probably talk about more. But you see this? I just typed in clinical trial specialist, which is not even like a super famous uh, car uh, career in clinical research. But look at all these jobs here. There's just so many jobs, and look at all these companies. So these are all companies. You do a search like this. Write down these company names and go to their website and see if they have any jo other jobs for you. Because these are all companies. I mean, PRA, BAME Institute for Clinical Research, Cario Farm Therapeutics, Oshner Health System, Ascent, Boston Children's Hospital, Lance Saw. These are all pharmaceutical or CRO or something where they're doing some kind of clinical research. You know, Avenir Pharmaceuticals out in Vallejo, out in uh, Viejo, California. Um, Seattle Children's, um, University of California. So, I mean, there are so many opportunities out here in clinical research that make sure that you are working it. You got to work it. Um, so, yeah, so let's check out this clinical trial associate at Cario Farm. It says, responsible for assisting and providing support to the members of the clinical operations project team. So clinical project, trial managers, head of clinical operations to facilitate the management of the clinical trial processes, including planning and execution of in-house or outsourced clinical trials. Clinical trial associate assists in supporting the co conduct of trials and may be responsible for managing specific study and operational tasks. The CTA performs work within established protocols under general supervision. May manage study specific PO creation. May be responsible to ensure clinical trials Dot gov is updated accordingly um, so yeah this is gonna be sort of like that same type of thing helping out the project team and like I said before in pharmaceutical companies you're technically you're technically doing project management and clinical it's all in one so um, that's something to think about when you're looking at these positions so yeah, this was kind of new to me, so thank you for the subscriber who emailed me asking about this position. I think this is a really, really great position for people looking to get their start in clinical research, so another one to add to the list. Um, another thing I would think about, too, is, you know, I always say don't, don't uh, reject a position if you think you're going to get a slightly better one. Um, only reject the position if, you, if it's completely not what you want. Um, but if you're just looking to get your foot wet, get your foot in the door of clinical research, I definitely recommend taking a position because they're not easy to come by just when you're trying to get your start. Um, and it's not easy to get that experience either. So I would think about that, but this is definitely one I would apply for, for sure. If I was trying to get my start. So as always, guys, you got any questions or you got a personal situation, uh, you want to get my take on, you can email me elite clinical group at gmail.com. Take care. Thank you.